Hello everybody, this is Neymar Gaming here with another YouTube video. And today I'm playing Rival Kingdoms. As you see, it's obviously not Clash Clans or Boom Beach or Minecraft, so I'm trying out something new. And in the comments below, tell me if you want me to keep doing this type of video with the Rival Kingdoms or just stick with the normal games. So first of all, the first thing in my impression of this game is look at the graphics. Look at this, down to the last detail. And yes, I've only been playing this game for a week, so I don't know everything about this. Look at that water, moving waterfall, that's amazing. And look at these. Look at these guys, they're so cool. Like, the graphics are amazing. Oh, down to the last little leaf. Okay, enough about the graphics, these are amazing. So, the resources you can get are just gold. Gold is the only resource, you might want to count the diamonds as a resource, which are like gems, which are nice. But yeah, I like it, only one type of resource, that's a new feature. You have trophies, you have um, a shield, which is eight hours, and I have three battle stones, and battle stones are what you use to um, attack with, and if you run out of battle stones, you can either buy more or wait for more to, um, um, it's kind of like a skip in Clash of Clans, like, if you know, if you run out of gold, you have to collect more gold or um, buy more gold, and you only have a couple of those battle stones, and let me show you the defenses now, so, you get a watch tower, which is like an archer tower, and you get a spell tower, but it, there are many more defenses, I think, but I don't know, the, the spell tower is kind of like a wizard tower, Okay, so those are the defensive buildings, including the walls, too. And here is a troop portal. Those are army camps. Um, this is a barracks. You actually don't train troops. They regen automatically. If they die or doesn't matter, they always come back. And these are just to unlock more. So they're kind of like a laboratory in one way. You also have, like, hero-type things. I'll show you that in a minute. And so, yeah, these are builder huts. You actually don't have to destroy those to get the 100% in the raid. But anyway, here, let's get on with an attack so I can show you how this works. So, this, I think, is the uh, single-player campaign. Um, look at this nice graphics once again. And here's the multiplayer. So my win streak... Oh, there you go. See, use up a battle um, stone. So my win streak is like um, w oh, like two um, wins because I failed. And let's see here. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like a boom beach because you can preview what you can attack with. So here we go, they have two Watchtower level 1s and a uh, Spell Tower, Flame Bolt level 9, I don't know what that means. So I'm probably going to attack for the Town Hall because then I can get my, these guys. And this is kind of like your spell. So this is a Lightning spell, this is a spell that makes them take less damage, um, and this is a Fire Elemental, which is kind of like a hero. And you get lots of these points from destroying buildings. As you see, if you destroy the Town Hall, you get 15, if you destroy these um, Troop Teleporter, Barrack thingies, you get four points, so you want to destroy those first. They're kind of like gunboat energy. So let's go, let's drop down my archers and um, barbarian type guys. So let's see, I'm getting more and more. I would recommend saving up for the, um, oh no, there goes the spell tower. And you want to destroy that spell tower quickly because, yeah, there you go. Now you get the um, guy here, boom. Nice, destroy that, destroy it, destroy it. And then you put one more guy, there we go. He's done now, and you can speed this up. And I just destroyed this guy's base. Epically destroyed it. Destroyed it in like one minute. There we go. I won. I get this loot and stuff. And there we go. Let's go back to the home base. And let's upgrade one little thing to show you how this works. So there you go. That finished upgrading and that finished upgrading. Great job. Okay. Let's see. I cannot upgrade that. I cannot upgrade that. Can't upgrade that. What should I upgrade, guys? Um, should I upgrade this? No, I want to max everything out. So let's upgrade this guy and this guy. So those are the gold collectors. So yeah, this is kind of like the basic overview of this game. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. Remember in the comments below to tell me if I should do more of these or stick with the normal Clash Clans and Boom Beach and Minecraft stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Neon Black Gaming. See you in the next video.